Alert, prophecy alert, prophecy fulfilled, prophecy fulfilled, alert, prophecy fulfilled. Egypt's president, Mohammed Mercy, who I told you was going to be president, not because Paul Begley had some kind of spiritual insight, but because according to the Bible, God revealed to me that the Muslim Brotherhood would take over the presidency of Egypt. And when there were 13 candidates left on the ballot, the Lord spoke to me 90 days before the election and said Mohammed Mosi would win. And then they voted. It came down to two. When it came to those two, the whole world, secular world, said that Haid Shaif would win. Even one of the military generals was interviewed and said, I look into my crystal ball and Haid Shaif will win. But we kept standing on Bible prophecy, prophesied by Daniel in the, excuse me, by Isaiah in the 19th chapter of Isaiah. And it said that there would be a, a fierce king, a cruel Lord would rule. And who would that be? Well, it had to be Muhammad Mercy, because he's the one that said that he wants to have a new caliphate in the Middle East. He said it, the Muslim capital would not be Cairo, would not be Mecca, would not be Medina, but Jerusalem. He said millions of martyrs will march in Jerusalem. Millions of martyrs will march in Jerusalem. He said that he would enact Sharia law upon the people of Egypt. And the ruthless murdering and killing of Christians is going on. So what's the prophecy? Breaking news out of Cairo, Egypt. Islamic President Mohammed Mursi removes the generals. He removes the council. He's destroyed the council. Exactly what it's, the Bible said would happen in Isaiah 19, 1 through 4. All of the prophecies of this prophetic word that we've been talking to you about for 18 months has finally happened. Here's the, here's the news break. Then let me look at the Bible and show it to you. Reports out of Reuters is reporting, Egypt's new civilian president has dismissed Cairo's top generals on Sunday. Dismissed them all, squashing the military order that had curbed Islamic Muhammad and his powers in a dramatic move to free himself of some of the restrictions of the military rule. There have been much debate over the fate of Field Marshal Hussein Tatai, who's 76 years old, who until Mercy's election in June had ruled Egypt as head of a military council. But since Jose Mubarak was toppled last year, this governing council had ruled. The timing of the announcement to replace him as the head of the armed forces was nevertheless a surprise. However, an embarrassing debacle happened for the army of Egypt on the border with Israel when 16 Egyptian troops were killed by Islamist militants a week ago. May have given Mohammed mercy the opening he needed to step up the pace and rolling back the military's influence and pushing aside the generals, the council thereof. Mercy spokesman said he called this a sovereign decision by the head of state and aimed at pumping new blood into an army which has shown signs of hoping to control the novice president. A fellow Islamist said Egypt could not go on having two heads. That's right. You can't have a president and a governing council trying to rule a country. Let's see what the Bible said would happen. Go to your Bible now. Go! Get some coffee. Are you serious? Get some coffee! Isaiah 19, verse 1, the Bible says, The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. Prophecy number one fulfilled. When the, the what looked like the fourth horseman of the apocalypse was seen galloping through the, the, the streets of Cairo during the rioting, it looked like a pale horse. Prophecy number one fulfilled. It happened when? In late January of 2011. We told you about it. We did a video on it that's got over 100,000 views. Almost 200,000 views. 190,000 views. Then, 
It says, Then the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. He shall come into Egypt. The idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. That's prophecy number two. We told you that would happen. They broke, during the rioting, they broke into King Tut's museum and stole eight of his idol gods. They were moved at the presence of the Lord. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. They would lose confidence in Jose Mubarak. That is prophecy number three fulfilled. Then, and that was in early February 2011. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Prophecy number four fulfilled. We saw the Egyptians choose up sides between who would take over. Some wanted to keep Jose Mubarak. Some wanted to make him be removed. It happened. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. That's prophecy number five. We saw that in the streets of Cairo. Everyone against his neighbor. We saw it. That's prophecy number six. City against city. We saw it. That's prophecy number seven. When some cities would rise up and fight others. And kingdom against kingdom. We saw it. That's prophecy number eight. When the, uh, when the radical Islamists would go and kill Coptic Christians... That was a spiritual kingdom rising up on another spiritual kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. That was the fall, the resignation of Jose Mubarak. Prophecy fulfilled, number nine. And I will destroy the council thereof. Fulfilled today. Prophecy number 10. And the last prophecy that had not been fulfilled. And they shall seek the idols. Fulfilled. Prophecy number 11. We, we have video. We've done a YouTube video on where a general says he seek the crystal ball on who would win between Haid Saif and Mohammed Mercy. And he said the crystal ball said that Haid Saif would win. But we stood against it and you guys know it because the Bible said that Mercy would win. And the charmers and have familiar spirits, and then have wizards. Again, prophecy number 11. That's all part of prophecy number 11. And the Egyptians will I give over to the hand of a cruel lord, a fierce king, fulfilled. That is Mohammed Mercy. As of today, he just took total power. He just took total power. He was already the president. But today, he destroyed the council. Today, prophecy number 12, fulfilled in this scripture. And he shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. All 12 Bible prophecies from Daniel 19, 1 through 4 have now been fulfilled. 11 of them had been done. There was still one major prophecy left. And that was the, the elimination, the destruction of this five-man general council, calling themselves the governing council that was trying to rule Egypt. But as of today, Muhammad Mercy has dismissed them all and has taken complete control of Egypt. The burden of Egypt fulfilled. What's next, Pastor? Read on. The waters shall fail, there be a drought, from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. Watch the Nile River. It is already drying up. And they shall turn the rivers far away. They have to seek for water. And the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up. The reeds and the flags shall wither. It's coming. And the paper reads by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks. Everything sown by the brooks shall wither. It's coming. And be driven away and be no more. The fishers also shall mourn. Now here's a prophecy that has been happening. And all they that cast angles in the brook shall lament or cry. And they shall spread their nets upon the waters and they shall languish. Why? Because they can't catch any fish. Why? Moreover, they that work in the fine flax and they that weave networks shall be confounded economic crisis coming to Egypt more worse than it is now. And they shall be broken in the purposes thereof and all that makes sluices and ponds for fish. Did you realize the fish were dying? 200 tons of fish died in the ponds just three weeks ago? Prophecies being fulfilled. Isaiah 19, 1 through 4, fully prophetically Fulfilled. And let me say to those of you who did YouTube videos, wrote articles about me, news media, and some of the religious crowd, you theologians who said I was crazy and that this didn't pertain till now, would you explain to me how all 12 of those 
are fulfilled. It's because it's the Word of God. Give your life to Jesus Christ.